Hello, my name is Rickard, and in this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you a really cool trick I recently discovered on how to create vignettes in Photoshop. If you're familiar with Photoshop, you know that you can create a vignette in Camera Raw, but I'm gonna show you a trick that retains your layer stack and creates a, a vignette that's very adjustable. Now, if you don't know what a vignette is, it's simply a darkening or a lightening frame around your image to help draw attention. And you'll often use this when you're doing composites and even doing photography. So with all that, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with this vignette sample file. And the first thing I wanna show you is just the standard way that you're probably used to adding a vignette. And that's to use the Camera Raw Under Effects Vignetting. Here you can see, if I drag this to the left, I've added a vignette. Um, I can adjust the midpoint here, bring it closer or farther. I can also adjust from round to square and the amount of feather. And finally, I can adjust highlights. And the highlights basically adjust if I move this midpoint in. Um, if you look at this foot, really, you can see what the highlight does. If I push that up, it's going to let more of those whites show through. If I push that down, it's going to make those pure whites there also affect, affected by the vignette. So that's the vignette tool in Camera Raw. I'm going to show you a much better way to do vignettes. So let's hit cancel here. And the first part of this and an important part is making your shape. Now, the one caveat here is that your shape has to be contained with inside the canvas. Uh, you can't do a shape like this um, because it, it simply won't work. And I'll show you why in a second. So step one is make a shape that's contained with inside the canvas. So in this case, I'll just do like this. Then you're gonna go here and add a curves layer. And you'll see that my selection has been turned into a mask. I'm gonna go ahead and make this darker. And then here under my properties, you'll notice a little mask icon. I'm gonna click that and that's gonna bring up my mask properties. In here, I'm gonna increase the feathering to 400 and then click on invert. And there you can see I now have a nice vignette. So we've now shown how to control the amount of vignetting. Uh, the one other thing I wanna show you is highlighting. So with a standard gamma curve, which is just pulling down the middle here, you get the equivalent of the camera raw vignette. Now that includes with the highlights showing. If you want a vignette that covers the highlights, instead of doing a middle gamma curve, just pull down the high end of your curve down. And there you can see our whites there are getting darker just as they are in the camera raw vignette when you turn off the highlighting. So really there we've accomplished the same thing, but with more control, I can control it here much more easily. I can also control the gamma and the darkening independent of each other by just adding points to the curve. Okay, the other part of this and the reason why we made a self-contained shape is now that this shape is inside the mask and all the properties are contained in here, meaning the inversion and the feather, what I can do is with the mask selected, do Command T for transform. And here you can see that's my original circle shape that's in the transform box. And I can adjust this however I want. And when I commit the transform, you'll notice that the feathering and the inversion are all still there. I can also just move this around to anywhere where I want and it'll always stay nicely feathered. Um, you will notice here a little line creating on the left now if you kind of let go and move it again, you'll notice that it disappears. I think that's just an error in the Photoshop software, which they'll probably find and fix in a future update. So there you have it. That's how you create that vignette. Now with this method, you can start with any shape. So there I showed you a circle. Um, if you want a more rectangular, you could just do the same thing, but we're gonna start with a rectangle instead of a circle. 
Again, make sure you're not going out of the canvas on any of the edges. Now we just add a curve, pull down the curve, go to our mask, increase the feathering to about 400, and then invert it. And there you go. Now we can always go back to curves and adjust this however we want. So that's square and that's circular, but how about a vignette that's closer in shape to our subject? Well, we can do that. We can make a triangle, go to curves, same steps, boom, 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 and boom. All right, now I have a curve that's hugging her much more closely. Maybe for this I want the feathering to be even more. So I'm going to make it more, and then I can go in here and just make my triangle a bit bigger. So like this. And even with this shape, with a Command T, I can rotate it a bit. I can even do some skews on it. And because it started as a self-contained shape, I have so much control here over how I want this to appear. So there you go. And that looks really nice. The other beauty of having a curves layer do all your work for you is that you can actually go in here and adjust color as well. So in this case, I want my shadows to be a little more blue. Well, I can go to the blue channel, increase the blue a bit, and then maybe go to my red channel and increase the cyan a bit. And there you have it. I've added more blue to my shadow areas there. The last thing I want to show you with this technique is that it's not um, tied to the curve. You can actually do this with any adjustment layer. So if you prefer using levels over curves, you can do the same thing. The only step you'll have to change is when you add this, rather than adding a curve, add a levels, and then just do the same thing. Make it darker, go to your mask, add some feather, and invert it. And now if this is your preferred method, this is how you adjust the middle gamma, and if you want to adjust the whole thing, you can also do that here and just make the whole thing darker. So again, this is similar to adjusting the middle of the curve, and this is uh, equivalent to adjusting the end of the curve. So your two different methods of creating that vignette. Uh, this is going to affect more if you have whites bleeding to the edge, and if you want those whites to stay white, or if you want those whites to become gray. So there you have it. And the beauty of this method is that it works with any adjustment layer. You can even use a solid color put on multiply because all the magic happens inside the mask and the mask properties. All right, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, uh, like this video, share it, do all that good stuff. And here's some other videos that you can check out. And I'll see you next time.